Hey crafters, it's Alex Vanover back with Divine Design Crafts. In this video, I wanna show you how to understand Cricut's cut settings, as well as create your own custom cut settings in case you need to do that. And I'm gonna show you my process for doing test cuts so that you don't waste material when trying to find the right cut setting for each material. So let's get started. When you're in your canvas in design space, if you go to the three bars and then go down to manage custom materials, that's gonna give you a list of the cut pressure and details for all of the preset Cricut cut settings. So when you use an explorer like I do, you'll see that the dial settings are first and that's gonna give you all of the normal presets as well as all of their cut pressures. The rest of this list also has if the Cricut is programmed to do multiple cuts on your material, what blade you need as well. So you can modify those cut settings, but I wouldn't recommend modifying the cut settings if you're having trouble. I'll show you what to do or what I would recommend that you do next in here in just a second. So after you pass all of the presets around the dial, then you get into all of the programmed custom materials in the Cricut's list. And this is really helpful because it's actually organized by cut pressure, not by alphabetical order. So it shows you the least cut pressure all the way down to the bottom of the list, the most cut pressure, and all those same details for each and every setting that you have. So this is really helpful because if you're cutting a new material and you're struggling with what to try next to see if it will cut a little bit better, this list is gonna give you a better understanding. Something that was always really confusing for me as a Cricut user is I didn't know how to test out other cut settings because I didn't know the cut pressures of each individual setting, so I wasn't sure what to try next. So this list kind of solves that problem for you and gives you some insight on into what you can try next that might work better for your machine. So let's say for example, you're trying to cut some glitter vinyl. So you use custom glitter vinyl as your first setting. So you see that the cut pressure is 158. And if that doesn't happen to work for you, I would suggest going up maybe 10 points of pressure or as close as you can. So 10 points of pressure up would be adhesive foil at 169. So that's 11 points of pressure higher than what you tried before. And I recommend going through this list that way and just playing with your settings and trying different numbers until you get the perfect kiss cut. Kiss cuts for vinyl mean that the blade of the Cricut cuts perfectly through the vinyl, but it doesn't cut into the backing. So when you peel it up, the design cuts and weeds very, very easily, but there's no mark from the blade into the backing of the vinyl. Because once you start cutting into the vinyl's backing, it's gonna be a lot harder to weed, and it may be really hard to pull up off the backing after the cut. So that's why you're looking for the perfect kiss cut. So we're not gonna go through all these materials, but I wanted to show you how to get to this list because I think it's really helpful. But maybe you're one of those users whose machine doesn't really work with some of the cut settings that 651 Vinyl suggests. If you do find something that works for a particular material, I suggest printing out the cut settings document on 651vinyl.com, and I will link that below in the description in case you don't have it but I would recommend writing down what setting you found works well for that material. But maybe no particular setting that you found works well for that material. There's an answer to that and you can create your own custom materials, which is a really nice feature. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this custom material list, you can actually add a new material. So let's pretend like I am cutting StarCraft Magic. That's sometimes tricky for new users, so we'll use that as an example. Then you'll start to save your setting. And after you click save, you can use this little dial to adjust more or less pressure to get the perfect amount of cut pressure that works for that material on your machine. Because remember that every machine is different. Some are gonna work perfectly with the suggested cut settings, and some of them are gonna work a little bit differently, and it's just not the same. Another important thing to note is that the Explorer models and the Maker work differently in the Cricut because they are, they are made totally differently. So the pressures on the Explore family and the pressure on the maker are different. So make sure that you're looking at this list based on your machine, not based on my machine. But either way, you can adjust this setting to whatever amount of pressure you think is going to work best for you. Then you can use this drop down menu if you are the type of person that likes to do maybe two or three or four cuts of a material before it leaves the machine. You can automatically your pro 
you can automatically program your machine to do that. And you can also set which blade you need for um, this particular material. And I'm just taking a guess that if you guys have the maker, and since there are more blade options than just the fine point blade and the deep cut blade, you can probably select those from the drop down menu also, which is really cool because that means when you go to cut that custom material, your your design space will remind you to change out that blade so that you use the right one for that cut setting. So this is not the, pr the pressure that I used to cut Starcraft Magic, but just, in, just as an example, I'll save it to show you. So if that was something that worked for me, then every time that I cut Starcraft Magic, I could go back into my custom materials list and I could choose Starcraft Magic as an option because that's what works for my machine. So I hope that's helpful to you and that's something that you can use in the future when you're struggling with your cut settings, whether it's due to your machine working differently than the cut settings document or whether Cricut doesn't update, you're struggling with what setting to cut your materials on. So next I'm gonna go to the canvas and if I was cutting this little acrylic cupcake SVG, I'm gonna show you how I would do a test cut to find out what setting I need to use with this material before wasting all the material that it takes to cut this cupcake. And I realize this cupcake is small, but if you were cutting a bigger design, this would be a really big deal. And this is a really helpful tip for going in and making sure that you get your cut settings right before wasting tons of material and being really frustrated. So whenever I do test cuts, I go into the basic shape panel of design space and I insert a star. Then I make my star just one inch wide because I wanna use as little material as possible, so I don't wanna use more than a square inch at a time. Then I'm gonna duplicate this three or four more times so that I have a total of like three to four stars. You could keep cutting the same star over and over again, but I like to have multiple so that if I'm test cutting, I don't accidentally test and cut my final design. Then I like to make my stars different colors so that they separate differently onto each mat. And that gives me several chances of different settings to try before I cut my final design. Then I go to make it and click continue. Once my machine connects, I start by making sure that I select my test cuts, not my final design. And then I can select the material that I think that I should start with. So let's say for instance that I'm gonna start with glitter vinyl. Then I cut that star on glitter vinyl, I unload it out of my machine and I double check that it actually weeds really well. So I'm gonna know that it weeds well if I can weed the outside of the star and I can pull the star off the backing of the vinyl and the star cuts and, wet and weeds easily but there's no cut from the Cricut blade into the backing. But if I'm not successful with that setting, then when I go to my next mat, I'm gonna click the glitter vinyl setting and I'm gonna to try to figure out what setting to use next. So if you click browse all materials and click to material settings, that's gonna take you back to the custom materials list. So I would scroll down to glitter vinyl, just like I showed you guys before, and I see that it's cutting at 158. So I'm gonna try, let's say copy paper because glitter vinyl is really close, but it's not quite cutting all the way through. Then I'm just gonna try a few pressure points higher. And that's how I'd proceed through cutting all of the stars. And I would make sure that I'm not cutting the final design until I get the perfect weed on my stars as test cuts. So I hope that makes sense. And then if you find a cut setting or if you create a cut setting, don't forget that you can add a material down here as well. So if you find the perfect setting, you can go ahead and create it yourself and save yourself a lot more time for next time. So I hope that makes sense to you and you're able to cut your um, materials a little bit better and easier through some of this craziness with updates and changes to your machine. If you have any questions, please make sure to drop them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget to click the subscribe button for more tips and Cricut help and all kinds of other fun crafts and ideas. I put out new videos every week so there's always something new to see. I'm Alex Vanover with Divine Design Crafts and I hope we can craft again soon.